Hey everyone, it's Eric here with a quick video tutorial on how to create a link to a website. Sharing information and creating links to outside information, uh, more information that you've created and so forth is one of the fundamental elements of building a website and building an online business. Sharing information with your target audience is key. So when you understand the different types of links and their importance, it makes for creating a much better user experience for your audience. So what I'm going to cover in this video is the use and importance of internal links, external links, and backlinks to make your website that much better. So we're right here at my website, workfromyourlaptop.com, and as a sample, we'll go into my latest post, and I'm going to show you uh, what internal links are, external links are, the balance you need to have between them, and then explain backlinks. So as we go into your uh, to this post, you'll see uh, throughout every post you want to have uh, links. And you can see in mine they're uh, highlighted in red. And you can see there's several as we scroll down uh, through the content. Now when you have internal links, the definition of an internal link is simply a link to some more of your content on your website. An internal link is a great way of getting people to go through your content that you've built on your website. And so you'll see here, uh, for example, this one right here, when I'm talking about individual profitable niches, when I click on it, it's going to take me, you can see, to another one of my articles. Okay? That would be an internal link. I'm taking relevant content, in this case, in this paragraph, where it's naturally talking about another topic I've covered, and then if the user wants to click on that, then they get to come, to come to another article of mine. So by doing this, you can see that it allows your reader to find and discover more information that you've written. This is really good for bounce rate. What is bounce rate? Bounce rate is the percentage of people that arrive at your website and leave without clicking on a single thing. In other words, a high bounce rate is bad. If you had a 100% bounce rate, that would mean that every single person arriving at your website doesn't click on anything, they just leave. Now, there's always going to be some bounce rate, but it's great when you have the majority, if you can, the majority of your visitors arriving and then at least clicking on something that takes them to another part of your website. Now, we don't want to have nothing but internal links. You may say, great, I'll put nothing but internal links. That way they come to my website and then they never leave. <laughs> they go from one article to an article and to another article, all of mine. However, Google is smart. And Google doesn't want you hoarding all web traffic. When they see that you have nothing but arrows pointing back in at you, they start to see that as a red flag. So you want to have a good balance in there of external links. Now, what are external links? External links are obviously the opposite of internal links in that they link to an article outside of your uh, website. For example, this right here in this sentence, this article is talking about Google and making money affiliate marketing, how to uh, capitalize on Google. It says here, Google searches happen 3.5 billion times each and every day. This, when I click on it, is an example of an external link. You can see it takes me to an outside site. Now, this site has all kinds of pop-ups. But you can see that it takes me to an outside site. How many Google searches per day on average in 2018? So this is an external link to this uh, authority site. And the reason I call it an authority site is when I grabbed this link, I believe this was the top uh, Google uh, search result for that question I had as to how many Google searches are made per day. So this is an authoritative link and it allows me to share this information with my target audience. Now you might say, why would you want to send your audience away? It's not that you're trying to send your audience away, it's that you are trying to share pertinent information and help answer their question. Anyone arriving at my post here is trying to understand Google, how to capitalize on Google and make money with the website, make money affiliate marketing. So to this point when I'm saying Google searches happen 3.5 billion times each day and that's a reason why when you can tap into that power you're able to understand more and more of what people are looking for. That article that confirms this amount of searches is relevant, it's pertinent. Just because you're pointing someone away, obviously you don't want to point everybody away. If all your links were external links, then we go back to that balance issue. If everything's internal, Google doesn't like that. Just like if everything's external, 
Google's going to say, why am I even going to bring anyone to your site if you're just going to point everyone away? That wouldn't make sense, right? So what kind of balance do we need? Within each article that we write, it's a good idea to have maybe more internal links, right? You want to have more to your stuff, but it's a good idea to have one or two solid external links that link to authority sites outside of your own. It's no different than when you have someone who posts things on social media. They're not necessarily posting everything. Uh, they're not just posting stuff that they've made. A lot of times people share funny videos, share outside uh, sourced elements. When they do that, you don't forget all about them. You go back to them as a source of good information. When people see that you are really trying to answer their question, not just hoarding all the information, answering their question, they see you as a solid source of information. Google sees this the same way and you become an authority site. So now we get into backlinks. Backlinks tend to be misunderstood. Uh, with backlinks, what is a backlink? A backlink is simply when someone outside of your website links back to you. In other, word, in other words, someone outside your website creates an external link and it links to you. So it's no different than my external link that I showed you here. This external link, when you click it and it comes to this site, it serves as a backlink for this site. The more and more backlinks you have, well, that's an obvious sign of authority, is it not? When you have more and more people that are linking to your website saying, oh, here's uh, a good article by this person. Here is this great information by this person. Google sees that, and when they see that more and more people are linking to you, that's an obvious sign of authority. So when you have, when you're creating really good content, by, by the nature of the internet, you'll start getting backlinks. And this is, of course, a good sign of authority and a good positive uh, sign of good SEO, search engine optimization. Now, you don't want to try and cheat the system. In the past, there were people who would offer, hey, well, you can pay us and we'll create a ton of backlinks for you. And all they were doing was building websites with no content, no real content. All they had, it was almost just like a listing, a directory listing with all these uh, links for people who had paid to be a part of that you know, directory and they were trying to cheat their way into having a ton of backlinks and become an authority site. Google, again, is very smart. Google sees that and realizes there's no real content here. They started ignoring a lot of those directory sites saying these aren't good backlinks and they started minimizing the amount of authority backlinks give you. But all in all, the bottom line here is when you're creating content, make it your focus to be answering the question that your target audience is asking. Here, they're asking about how to Google for business. So every bit of this article is going to be answering that question, giving links to other posts and articles I've made that are relevant to this, and also using external links along the way so that my audience can then get the best answer to the information, create the best user experience for them, and by that, when you're able to be consistent in your content creation with that as your focus, you will over time become that authority site you're looking for, have several backlinks for your website, and you're going to be able to build more and more traffic. So there you have it. It's a pretty simple concept, the good balance you want to have and the reasoning behind it. And if this is something that's interesting to you, if this is something that you're looking to uh, build a website that gains real traffic, ultimately with your audience being the main focus and their user experience. But along the way, if you'd like that traffic to turn into revenue and create some consistent monthly revenue so you can do this for a living, then I highly, highly recommend going to, in fact, it's right here on my website, number one recommendation. This is a link that takes you to the top training and mentoring community that I've found for building a website from the ground up. This link will take you right to that review. And if you're watching this from YouTube, I'll put a link not only to this review, but I'll put a link to where you can create your own free starter account. You can actually try it out free. It's the best part. And by going through my link, you'll actually have me as your personal support coach. Check it out. It, I've had nothing but positive experiences through it, and it absolutely delivers. And there you have it. As always, if this has been uh, helpful to you, please like, share, and comment, and I'll see you next time.